One of the simplest but most amazing items that Mechanism gives us is this, the logistical sorter. Now, it can be overwhelming when you first look at its GUI or GUI, but I'm going to make it really simple for you today. First up, how do we make it? Well, it's actually very easy. It's just some iron ingots, a basic control circuit, and a piston. And when we place a chest down next to it, so this black hole here is where it's sucking items out from, and this yellow port is the, the exit. This is where it's going into our logistical sorting network. Now, with just this one item, we can actually make a very complex or simple network. We are going to need to use logistical transporters from Mechanism. Now, I'm going to delete all of these filters. First, let's look through the main filters and options we have in the logistical sorter. You can see filters. We have none single on or off and this actually tells you what it does sends a single item instead of a whole stack each time and it will override any min and max set in the item stack filters i will un i will show you through what the min and max is in a minute round robin cycles between all connected inventories when sending items eject auto this is going to eject any unfiltered items automatically to connected inventories using the default configuration we can put some upgrades in here for muffling so it's not as noisy. And we can lock the security as well. So as you can see here, on my logistical network, I've got three different routes. And I can shift click with my configurator to change the color. Like I'm going to change this one to dark red. This one is blue and this one is cyan. So if anything is on the dark red route, it will go into this chest. Blue will go into here and cyan will go over into that one. We have also put the default down here as dark red, meaning that is the default way to go. So if I put on a new filter, let's actually see it in action. I'm going to say, right, how do I want to filter it? Item stack, mod ID, maybe it's mechanism. Anything from mechanism will then go down, if I put it to here, the dark red route. And you can change the color as you can see on the left here. On the right, we have some options. Allow default. What that is basically saying is if it hasn't got anywhere else to go, then can it go into the default route? And I can say, yeah, sure, it can go into the default route. The default being dark red anyway. If it could go through any of these options, it would be allowed into the default dark red route. But we're going to say no. Do we want to um, use size mode? If so, we can say only withdraw a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 12. Turning the size mode off ignores that. And that is what it means um, with single here, where it says it does override the min and max set in item stack filters. So if I put anything in mechanism, like the SPS port, the anti blah, 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 you can see they're all going into the red chest because they are all from that mods filter. And again, that's the mod ID. We can also use tags to make filters as well for example i can put minecraft seeds okay maybe i can't then um but we can do forge ores that should work yes all oh, okay okay it doesn't like minecraft seeds i thought it would but we could do for example forge ores and you can see it'll cycle through all the different ores we have in this mod pack and it will put any of them through whatever color route i tell it let's put a new filter on let's say it's an item stack and I'm going to say I want dirt to go down the blue route. And I only want to do a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 10 with size mode on. You can also see there is a fuzzy mode here. That means it will ignore any durability of any tools, weapons or armor. So on means it will ignore the durability. If I then press save and I put in a stack of this, you can see it's taking 10 at a time of dirt and it's going immediately down the blue route. Now let's say I put it onto light blue instead and turn allow default on. As you can see here, there is no light blue color option. But if I put my dirt in here, it doesn't go anywhere. And that is because I have put light blue only. If I then took this off and saved it, and then I turn auto eject on, you can see it is actually going to go straight into the um, dark red route because it has nowhere else to go and default allowed is on. 
Another thing we can do, let's say I've got loads of filters set up here, but I'm like, oh, do you know what? Actually, for the moment, I don't want to use a specific filter. I could just turn that one off. Meaning if I now put dirt in, in fact, it'll actually still go down the default because um, I'm allowing it to go to default even though the filter is off. And remember, any items will go into default if they can. Um, if I actually say, let's turn off default, but we put it to uh, blue again. So it does have somewhere to go, but I have the filter turned off. You can see it's not going anywhere. As soon as I turn the filter on, it's going to go down that route. So you can turn filters off to actually stop using that specific filter for the time being. And that is how you use the logistical sorter from Mechanism. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If you would like to support the channel, you can join the Patreon in the description. Or if you would like other Mechanism tutorials, I have done an insane amount. I've pretty much covered the entirety of Mechanism now in the playlist seen in the pinned comment and also in the description.